Chester and he was right. It's a really good set of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of car does Greg drive? It's uh, Acura. It's really nice. It's, it's like one of those luxury SUV cars. It's, it's like a dad car. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of gear did you bring for today? Uh, I'm a little light, but I've got my snowshoes, i got my micro spikes, i got my paws. I'm a little under, under layered. I've been really hot this winter for some reason, even when it's been cold out. Of course, I did what I usually do. I forgot to bring food and water. Not forgot. I just didn't have time. <laughs> barely have clothes. Never have time. Actually, you never have time. Barely have clothes, so we're going to have to stop on the way so I get food and water. Um, but yeah, that's it. What are you most excited about today? I love that moment. I don't know. Maybe half an hour into a hike where all of a sudden you realize that you're not worrying about it anymore. That's beautiful. And then you've got hours of that. <laughs> <laughs> That moment when you when it kicks in, when you just like feel like that whatever those hormones are that make you feel really good and like the worries of the world just drop away, like Donald Trump doesn't exist, <laughs> Trump doesn't exist, <laughs> and it's just you and like your immediate surroundings. That's a good feeling. Yeah, that is a good feeling. Do you have anything else you want to say to the camera? Uh, I'm excited to help celebrate your birthday. Thanks. Uh, I'm excited to be hiking with Gwen. Yeah. Your, your friend Gwen. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm excited to mix the word the DL world with the other hiking friends I have because I feel like they will all get along very nicely. I agree. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Cool. Ready? We're at the trailhead. Greg has parked his car very interestingly. <laughs> Greg, say hi. Hey. Gwen. Hey. Christine. You guys, ready? Yes. Let's, do it. Yeah. Let's go crush a mountain. <laughs> all right, we are on the trail. It's very strange because it's like completely winter wonderland covered in snow, but it's 50 degrees out. We're all basically not wearing jackets, hats, or gloves. So uh, I, anybody who doubts global warming, I don't know how you explain this one. All, of, all of that investment finally paid off. <laughs> What's that, Greg? All of our, all of our investment in global warming is finally starting to pay off. <laughs> we get to go for snow hikes in beautiful weather. Oh, that's so not funny. All right. <laughs> yeah. Are we having fun yet? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's keep fun. Christine, remember that moment I was telling you about? Yeah. When you just stopped caring about the rest of the world? Yeah, I remember that. How do you feel? Pretty much like that. Yeah. So we are taking a sunscreen break because the sun is actually... <laughs> Shining through, <laughs> bouncing off the snow. We could get. We listen to Tropical House on the way up here. We could get. We could get as tan as the tropics here today. <laughs> it's turned into a tropical day, huh? It is a tropical day. All right, this shit's getting steep. Going up a cliff face now. Get Gwen using her ice axe. <laughs> That's what it takes right now. All right, guys. Are we having fun still? Yeah. How hard are we working now? Really hard. Yeah. Greg's breaking trail. Unbroken trail. It's about three feet deep. <laughs> We're not wearing snowshoes. Hey, do you want me to demonstrate? <laughs> it's like walking in quicksand. Are we at the other trail yet? No. Oh man, this is longer than I thought it would be. Super pretty though, right? It is. It's raining now. Check out this like evergreen snow melting. So like rainy because of that thing going on. Having fun breaking trail, Glenn? Oh yeah, so much. Oh my god. It's a good workout, right? I love it. <sighs> okay, we made it to the easy trail. It only took about three times as long as I thought it would. Uh, at one point, I post hold all the way up to my hip. That was a little freaky. But, we're almost at the top now. What do you think, guys? You ready to make it to the top? Yeah, I feel you. Alright. <laughs> almost there. 
All right, we're on the path more commonly taken and uh, it's much easier to walk on. Getting closer to the summit, we're probably close to 4,000 feet in elevation at this point. Morale should be increasing. <laughs> it's getting really challenging there for a bit. Made it to the top. And the views are amazing. Look at that. Just spectacular. All right, we made it to the summit. Woo, it's lunchtime. We're at the highest point in the Catskills. The clouds are epic, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> We're hungry. How many calories did we burn today? 2,000 so we can eat 2,000 extra. So what are you going to get? I'm going to get macaroni and cheese and barbecue and coleslaw and coke and a chocolate milkshake. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to get? I don't know if I can top that. I think ribs, <laughs> slaw, pulled pork, mac and cheese, definitely a vanilla milkshake. Should we get wings? They said they have eight award-winning flavors. Somebody has to drive home. We're going to like fall asleep. <laughs> Anyway, we're about to feast. It's been a it was a great hike, seven miles, really hard, but we did it. Trail breaking.